what's cracking you too? It's your boy Jason Yamamoto and today I want to talk to you guys about how I deal with negative criticism. Okay, some of you guys have never dealt with negative criticism and you guys are posting videos on YouTube. You guys will see some dislikes, some, some of you guys are going to see some some shit talking on your YouTube channel and you got, it's going to drive you crazy at first. It's really going to drive you crazy. You want to? It's gonna either build up in you. You just gonna just want to quit. You just want to stay away from YouTube because you just can't see yourself dealing with negative, negative thoughts, negative comments in your life, right? And you know, a lot of this takes time. It takes time to adapt. No bullshit, man. For real, it takes time to adapt to the bullshit. Cause no matter how many good comments you read. It's always that one comment, that one negative comment that fucks your day up, you know? You could have had, like, the best criticism, the best um, critiques about you, it just, but it just takes one bad criticism just to ruin your day. You know, uh, when I was a kid, you know, I came from, you know, from France. I came from France. I had this strong French accent. All I knew was French. That's, that was me, you know? And I had this weird accent. People just didn't like who I was, right? Even growing up as a kid, I thought I was normal. And people was, oh, you know, he was different. And, and the thing was, the guys didn't like me because I, I guess you could say I had swag. But I had um, the girls, the girls, right? Most of the girls that ever talked to me, they liked how I talked. They thought my voice was, my voice was very sexy to them. You know, how I presented myself, how I talk. And so, while the guys didn't like me, the girls liked me. So, this is the first thing I knew about um, separating um, negative criticism with good criticism. Okay? So, as I get further up in my age, right, um, I start to take interest in music. One of it was orchestra. A lot of people didn't then then like the idea of me playing an orchestra because they thought hey it was uh it they thought they associated uh, classical music with being a little bitch or being rich or just being snobby right they classical people who associate themselves with classical music tend to associate with the snobby you know the rich but anyways that's a different topic but anyways the thought that because i was doing something that was outside the community norm, they all of a sudden, they make fun of me. Oh, it's like, hey, man, you look at look at this kid right here. He's rich, man. He's snobby. You don't want to hang out with us. You don't want to hang out with fuck him, you know? And I want to hang out with these cats because, you know, uh, this, these are the only people I know. But they're telling me to step back because I don't belong with them. Right? So from here on in, you know, I, I try to... I try to blend in, I try to blend in, so I take up another musical talent, which was, at the time, music producing and DJing. So, as I started to learn how to make music, you know, I started releasing tracks. I started releasing tracks, and at the time, it wasn't really great. I was trying, though. You, you have to try. You just gotta try, okay? You just gotta try. And... As I was releasing tracks, people were just hating on my shit. They was like, oh, man, your shit sucks. You know, you should fucking quit. You use terrible music. You'll never be a great producer like so-and-so. You know, and it breaks my heart, man. It, makes, it made me want to cry at that time. It's like, man, I just want to fucking quit, man. Just bullshit. Why would I want to listen to these motherfuckers for, man? You know what I'm saying? And there was times when I wanted to quit, but my heart was in it, man. My, this is my passion. I want to make music. I want to be part of music. This was me. I get to express myself where nobody can. So... I stuck with it. I stuck with it. And as as I was progressing in my musical skills, right? The people who I was releasing my tracks to uh essentially just this they just just started hating me just for who I was rather than for my music because they just they just didn't like my music, so they associate their dislike with the music with who I am, and so they actually started hating me in general. Okay? So Essentially, um, I stopped making that kind of music. I said, you know what? I'm just going to stop making that music. I'm sorry. 
Um, I just can't handle the bullshit right now. So I decided to take a turn in, in my musical path, which was at the time was dance music. So I, you know, I said, you know what? If if dance music ain't good, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start rapping. I'm gonna start making hip hop beats instead of dance music. I'm gonna be a rapper and a hip hop artist. That's what I did. So I switched from one thing to another. But of course, um, as I was getting to that, my skills was starting to improve. I was my mind was being open to new different areas. Um, I've never experienced uh, creating lyrics and recording lyrics and learning how to manipulate uh, words into a track and having it digitized and all kinds of different things. So I got to learn something new from that. Okay. And then essentially as a growing artist, I wanted to do more. I wanted to paint. I wanted to draw. And then essentially I started get more ideas and I, I wanted to do YouTube and I want to make videos and stuff and show it and show it to people, right? And then essentially when I got on the YouTube, oh man, reaching out to a whole new audience, right? If you guys haven't seen my other video tips on how to have swag, one of my most popular videos, like 17,000 view. Hey, to me it's a lot. To a lot of people, you know, they see millions, they think that's normal. For me, that's, you know, shit. 17,000, that's a lot to me. But on that video alone, see, I had, I, I, I really didn't want to at, at first, but I have the comment uh, box uh, for pinning for approval because I got so much hate. Yeah, I got so much hate for that video. You know, they're telling me, um, who's this fucking ugly chink? Who's this, you know, what the fuck does he know about swag? You know, fuck this motherfucker, man. You know, call me a swagged. You know, faggot, all kinds of shit, right? Had nothing to do with the video. If you actually listen, sit down and listen to what I said on the video, it was supposed to encourage people to be unique, uh, not to copy people, and do your own thing. And don't worry about being cool because you know what? Cool, being cool is not cool being to have swag. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's like when you have swag, you you you're you are you are your own version of being cool. You know, anyways, so pretty much you listen to like almost damn seven minutes and a half of this video and you kind of wonder, where, where, what's their advice, man? What's the advice? How do I, how do I, um, pretty much deal with negative, uh, you know, criticism? How do I deal with it? Okay, if you haven't really listened to what I was saying about how I moved up, that's what negative criticism does. It makes you, you know, it, it may hurt you at first, right? But then it's like, you know what? Maybe what you're doing is uh, it, it's good, but maybe you need to step outside and, and venture out on different areas around what, what your talent is. Remember I told you I started off with classical music and then people didn't like what I was doing. And then I, I, I wanted to blend in, but so I was doing music. I mean, not music, but producing music. And then I got a little bit more hate for that. And then I started rapping. And then I started doing all kinds of stuff. Right now, I went back to my original passion, which, which is making uh, uh, dance music for free. I, that's my thing. I like making dance music. I really don't like to charge people for shit that um, I like for people to enjoy, man. That's my thing. But anyways, with that being said... Um, yeah, so pretty much what I'm trying to tell you is there's going to be times when people is going to piss you off and it makes you want to cry. You want to make, you want to make you give up. The thing is, you just don't give up. Don't give up. Be stubborn, more stubborn than they are. Okay. And then not only that, um, when they say s certain things, when they say certain negative things to you. You, you step back, you step back, and then you do something else. Do something else, man. It, it's going to open up your mind more. It's, it's going to open up your talents more, right? And then you go back to what you, what you originally done, and now you've increased your expertise in that area, right? I went from classical to dance music to rapper, then coming back to dance music, but now I have so much more, more skills to add to my passion,
right? The experience, the journey, I, I've earned more to add towards my musical passion. And then I have um, my YouTube, man. You, if you see my original videos from when I first started, I was kind of shy, man. I didn't want to look at the, at the camera a lot of the times. At the times, I had to imagine that the lens weren't there. I was literally talking to myself. I had to do that, man, for real. And uh, and these days, you know, talking in front of a camera is not that hard. It's not. It gets easier, you know, because of the negative comments that I, sometimes I get. Some people say, "What the fuck do I know about building muscle?" And then they see me um, sticking it with it. It's been like a year already, and I've been recording my progress, sharing my knowledge. Letting people know this is how you roll and this is how you gain strength, functional strength, um, how to how to build muscle along with that functional strength so you can be a well rounded person rather than rather just than being a machine and you know a habitual routine ish kind of person, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, I there's so many ways we can help each other. But one of the things I've always understood is that when people bring you down, when you see that negative comment, that negative critique, whether if it, it's one word or an entire paragraph or an entire uh, freaking essay worth of bad things to say to you or whatever, you got to understand you just don't give up. Just don't give up. Whatever it is you're doing, don't ever give up. You may just do something else. Do something else and then come back to it, all right? And then you can add more to what you what your original passion was, you know? And that's that's my thing, you know? That's my thing. I My thing is I just want to help you guys get over the negative shit, right? I've always been positive. I'm optimistic as fuck, you know? There's times where people think... I, I may be a bad person, but they don't know. They don't know shit, man. They don't know. They don't know me. They don't know what the fuck I've been through. They don't know what kind of bad things I've seen. You know, they don't know nothing. But I'm over here, man. I'm over here trying to bring you in into the light of goodness, bring the light into your heart, and and open up your mind. Okay, this is what I'm doing for you. Okay, so you see negative people, they talking they smack. Just remember me, man. Just remember what I'm telling you. Okay? Just remember what I'm saying to you. Know the fact that there are going to be times when people are going to say bad things. Just be stubborn. Just be stubborn about it. Do something else and come back to it. Okay? You know why? Because they're not. They're never going to be there for you. These guys are the guys that they come through once and then they leave. Okay, they see you once, then then they leave, and then they see you again. Obviously, they're attracted to you. They, there's something about you that they like about you now. You see what I'm saying? And if you come back from whatever it is you was doing, harder and stronger, now they got more respect for you. It's like, oh man, this guy didn't quit. Oh man, this guy came back even better. I got respect for him now. You see what I'm saying? Anyways, guys, it's your boy Jason Yamamoto. I'll talk to you guys later. Nine, nine, three, three.